right, guys, welcome back to the broadcast. It's been a crazy week or so. There is so much going on. There's such a quickening in the world right now. The evil is making its move. The new world order is here. This is undeniable, and anyone who cannot see it does not see clearly. And I sure indeed hope that you'll go through my archives and search for ways for you to get healthier, to get your mind right, etc. People are mineral deficient. People are deficient in the 90 essential nutrients chronically. People are magnesium deficient. It, the list goes on and on. I'm not going to get into some huge rant about it, folks, but your nutrient deficiencies cause mental impairment. And most people, because of their nutritional deficiencies, have severe mental impairment, which clouds their common sense and reasoning skills. And because of that, you cannot see how the evil in the world around you is everywhere and how these corrupt politicians, celebrities, government officials, the United Nations, I'm not going to, I can't say a lot of the stuff that I want to say, folks. All I'm going to say is this is a warning system that you are being lied to by the people who are claiming to take care of you and, and the people who claim to have your best interest at heart. No, they don't, folks. We are in an extermination system. The beta test phase one is just now completing and they are going to continue with phase two. So we've got to become privy to the truth, ladies and gentlemen, and it's very difficult to do that again when you're nutrient deficient. I've seen so many people, you know, through the reabsorption of the proper nutrients, get their minds right. And without a mind that's stable, folks, you're not going to, again, be able to navigate this crazy dimension with sanity. Without sanity, you've got nothing. You know, without, without sanity, you can make a bunch of money, you can be an idiot celebrity, you can be in Hollywood, you can be a part of the club, so to speak, part of the cabal, but that doesn't mean that you have your sanity. I would not trade all of the money in the world for my sanity. Sanity, true sanity, true clarity, common sense, rational reasoning skills are worth more than gold. That's worth more than the most precious minerals that the earth has, the opulence of the earth. Come on, guys. Come on. So first things first, I want to say that a lot of the stuff that I want to say, I can't say here on YouTube due to censorship. So if you want to hear me uncensored, you've got to go to my BitChute channel and I would highly suggest going to my Instagram uh, and be following me. If you send me a follow request, I'll respond to it that day and you'll have access to a wide array of my posts talking about, you know, the thing that's going on in the world that's affecting us all right now, that's infringing on our rights, our medical freedoms, you name it. So if you wanna hear me talk about the things that I actually wanna talk about in an uncensored fashion where I don't have to appease the politically correct algorithm and artificial intelligence, which scans literally in live time, all of my posts, everybody's posts on YouTube, if you want me uncensored, go to BitChute, go to Instagram, follow my Facebook page. All three links to those are in the description box below. All you've got to do is scroll down and click them and become a follower, become a member or subscribe. At least, follow my Instagram, excuse me, and become a subscriber on my BitChute and follow my Facebook page, folks. The censorship is reaching a spearhead. The censorship is reaching an all-time high. They are policing. They are censoring opinions. They are censoring anything that goes outside of the, the status quo. So to think that you have a constitutional right to freedom of speech is an absolute fallacy. Don't lie to yourself, folks. So a handful of people recently have reached out and said, bro, you've got to calm down. Just relax. Accept people for who they are. Blah, blah, blah. Everybody moves at their own pace. Ladies and gentlemen, these people that you have so much patience for would vote to have your medical freedom and your right to choose what you put in your body or not taken away from you. I think you can connect the dots. There's a, a jab, they like to call it, that's becoming a... Uh, more and more, I mean, what did they say? 50% of the population or more has already gotten the jab. They want everybody to take this. They wanna gaslight you into doing it. They want to peer pressure you into doing this and they want to mandate it, ladies and gentlemen. And the people that you have so much patience for that you think are so great and that they're moving at their own pace, yada, yada, fucking yada. These people would vote to have your medical freedom taken away from you to have a mandated medical tyranny world. So read between the lines, stay calm, 
but stay focused on the truth, ladies and gentlemen. And the only way you're going to be able to do that is with reasoning skills, with common sense. Because as we've mentioned a million times before on this channel, without common sense, you have nothing. Because someone can be right in front of your fucking face lying to you, and you can you you trust them. You don't you don't understand neuro linguistics. You don't understand body language. Your psychic centers, your metaphysical antennas are, they're shut off. They're dull. You need to get your metaphysical antennas erect again so that you can be become a human lie detector and become a wand or a antenna for the truth. They don't want rational, reasoning, healthy people here in this world that see past their narrative. They don't, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why they spend billions and billions and billions of dollars every year spiking the tap water, for instance, with hexafluorosilicic acid, hydrofluorosilicic acid, pipe residues, scaling lime, inorganic compounds, algicides, cobalts, fluoride, fluorine compounds, chloramines, algicides. I think I may have said that twice. Inorganic calcium and lime, ex lime excess iron. These are accumulative poisons in the tap water that go into your system and accumulate in your tissues, accumulate in your brain, all the aluminum and the metals. This stuff has an effect on your health. How can you not see that? They spend billions and billions and billions of dollars every year ensuring that all the cereals are packaged in toxic phthalates, which destroy the human reproductive system and destroy your fertility. Fertility is going in a downhill spiral, folks. Men are becoming genetically weak. Women are becoming genetically weak. They are assaulting you. How can you not see this, folks? Honestly, ask yourself, how can you not see this? They're putting massive amounts of glyphosate in the, weed, or in the wheat, in the crops, folks. Glyphosate levels have skyrocketed like 10,000 fold in the last 20 years, or in the last 10 years, excuse me. And that's just one compound of many that's in the food supply. The air that we breathe is filled full, full of aluminum, barium, strontium, mylar fibers, chaff, radioactive isotopes, scalar waves. You're breathing garbage, you're eating garbage, and you're drinking garbage, yet you think you've got it all figured out. You are genetically altered. They want us all to be genetically modified organisms, folks. And that's why they're pushing all of these gene therapy drugs and let's just say it's something known as what many people are calling it. It's not a drug. It is a drug, but it's intermuscular, intramuscular. It's called the JAB. Put the pieces together. There's things I can't say here. My God. And if my freedom of speech actually does exist, folks, because I'm not going to say anything bad or threatening in this, po or in this video, but if my freedom of speech does exist, if I have a constitutional right to freedom of speech, this video will not be taken down. So please hear that algorithm. Please hear that artificial intelligence as you scan this video as it's uploaded. I'm not harming anything. I just have a set of opinions that aren't considered the status quo. So do not remove this video. Ridiculous. You're eating shit, you're breathing shit, and you're drinking shit. You're bathing in shit, folks. They've got an entire array of electromagnetic weapons set up in the major cities. Through Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, and all the other environmental extremism, power consolidation programs that they're implementing, they want us all to be shuffled into the major cities, filled full of the electromagnetic fields, they want us all living under the rulership of dictators. They want medical freedom to go out the window. They want medical servitude to replace medical freedom. The United Nations, etc., wants to block certain therapeutics for certain things going around the world right now. At least they say they are. I, again, you guys, I have to gingerly appease or I have to gingerly tailor my YouTube videos to fit a very political narrative or within the, you know, the confines of a politically correct narrative. Otherwise the thing, my videos will either get a strike or get deleted. So forgive me for not being able to actually speak the way I wish. I've got to kind of speak in a code of sorts so that you can put together the pieces and understand what it is I'm talking about or hinting at. So again, please, the links in the description box below, BitChute, Instagram, Facebook, Sign up, join, 
but boom this will also ensure a secondary system so that you can continue to stay in touch with me and I can stay in touch with you if my channel goes bye bye this channel is nothing without the subscribers now, for months, I've been asking people to go over to my BitChute channel and subscribe so that I have a way to stay in touch with you. And so far, only about 260 or 80 people, 280, I think, last time I checked this morning. I think it's only 260, actually. I only have 260 subscribers on my BitChute channel. Why? Because people are too lazy to set up an account that takes two minutes so that I can, so that you can join my BitChute? Why don't you want to stay in touch with me? If you value my message, if you want to stay, again, connected, sign up for the BitChute channel and I thank from the bottom of my fucking heart all of you who care enough about my message enough to subscribe and many of you have the people who end up subscribing to my alternate accounts outside of YouTube are the people who value my message the most and I love you guys the most and I thank you to those of you who will subscribe and already have subscribed and there's comments I'm getting on my videos on BitChute I think it's awesome it's just, it's, it's nice to know that there's a backup system, folks. It's nice to know that there's a backup system. So in a recent community section post that I wrote on the YouTube channel, I said that I had a very important message coming up soon and that it's going to be most likely be my most important message ever on YouTube. I just wanted to state that this is not that particular message. The particular message that I was talking about in that community section tab is almost finished and it will be up soon. We're gonna cover a lot of ground, at least the ground that we can cover within the confines of the prison system of social media. At least this, again, excuse me, you guys, I'm, I'm ranting. I'm just, I've had enough, you guys, I've had enough every day. I do research on what's going on in the world and I just become more privy to the fact that the new world order undeniably is here and they're making their move. They're consolidating power. They're trying to usher in a more socialistic style lifestyle where people are dependent on government hangout handouts. They're, they're stripping away folks life as we knew it in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s and the early 2000s and life back then was tyrannical but the tyranny that we're experiencing now with what's going on in the world supersedes the tyranny of days prior 10,000 fold 10 million fold 10 billion fold so in again i'm just fed up you know every every night for the most part i take luna on a walk around the neighborhood between like 8.30 and 10.30 p.m. I like walking at night. I like walking when it's dark out where no one can see me because I like to be alone with my own thoughts. I don't want to have to run into people and wave at people and just deal with the constant humdrum of everything and the noise of the cars. I like therapeutic walks at night and I walk up and down my streets and I shit you not, every street that I go on, or down and I go down five main streets multiple times back and forth near my home almost every single house that I walk by blue light from the televisions are emanating emanating through the windows through the blinds as if there's some type of alien abduction Clive Barker Hellraiser scene going on in the homes everybody's tuned into the television everybody's tuned into the status quo via the news etc everybody is vegging out in the midst of this takeover that we're all in everybody is apathetic for the most part and most people aren't even aware of the truth of what's going on in the world so you bet at times the massive inertia of all that the weight of understanding that that people don't care gets to me a little bit I mean, guys, this is a natural response to what's going on right now. And you can be some acid dropped or acid fried hippity dippity moron. You can, you can be one of these people out here that wants to think that life is just about letting go. And, you know, it's all about peace and harmony and accepting everyone, man. You know, the Pleiadians are here. They're, they're told me to love everyone and all your bullshit. You can tell me all your nonsense, folks, about why you don't put in an effort 
to fight back against this new world order system. But I am, I'm just, I'm fed up with it. I'm done. I'm, I'm sick of all the bullshit, the apathy, and the nonsense. This is a natural response. I don't want to be in a world with a bunch of sheep that don't care. That just whimsically go along with the status quo, with the general consensus. Trust the experts, this, that, and the other, blah, blah, blah. Even though they have a fucking financial bias, it's just remarkable. You guys. So, one of the morals of this story that I'm telling you, because this is more of a random rant than anything, is to put in the effort to get healthy now. We are exposed to over 500 chemicals on a daily basis, heavy metals, you name it. Our bodies are toxic. Our body has reached a point where we've stored toxins in our fat cells, in our bodies, because we're constantly around it. We absorb things like a sponge. Most people who are over 20 years old have a considerable amount of metals and toxicity in their system. No wonder you can't think straight. You've got to help your body help itself. So that it can start to produce the proper hormones, chemi- the, all the stuff in your system. You are a walking biological pharmacy of God chemicals. But right now, you can't access that because you're so jammed full of garbage and shit and waste. Because of this, your mind is greatly hindered from functioning properly. And because of that, you do not see things for what they are. You live in a limit, you live in a, within the confines, if you will, of a limited perspective. This is what makes people sheep. Undeniably, this is what makes people sheep. So to remove the sheepdom, to remove the sheepishness from you, it starts with having a foundation of physical health. So for me, this is just what I suggest. And I'm not telling you to do this. I'm just telling you that this is what I do for me. Or this is what I do myself. So I can't say that I suggest this because God forbid, if you say the wrong fucking thing about supplements, this, that, and the other, you might get fucking banned or deleted. Jesus Christ. What I do is I take a minimum of three grams of ascorbic acid on a daily basis. Ascorbic acid is also known as vitamin C. This is a potent and cheap antioxidant that is essential to various functions in the human body. Human beings cannot generate vitamin C on their own. Now, because of all the oxidative stress that we're under from all the bad food, the vegetable oils, the gluten, the toxins in the environment, our body is run down and needs a constant supply of legitimate antioxidants. Vitamin C is a potent nutrient antioxidant vitamin it's good for the blood, ladies and gentlemen. It's excellent for lowering, for lowering cholesterol levels. It helps bring elasticity back to the skin. It's essential for the production of collagen. And the amino acid lysine in an isolated form goes or pairs very well with vitamin C. So vitamin C and lysine is a great place to start. They're both incredibly cheap therapies. Lysine is essential, folks, for the production of proteins in the body. And it has a remarkably effective antiviral quality. It's a benevolent amino acid. Amino acids are isolated sections or pieces that make up entire proteins when they're connected via daisy chains, chemical bonds. So for all the people who want to say that, oh, amino acids, oh, those, are, those are fucking synthetic, bro. Ascorbic acid, man. Vitamin C. Oh, man. Oh, and tell me where I'm going to get all that vitamin C that you take in nature, man. It goes against natural law. We don't live in a natural world, fool. We live in an unnatural world where sometimes, in fact, more often than not, we have to rely on unnatural methods to undo the unnaturally large amount of toxicity that comes by default from living in an unnatural world. Does that not make sense? Does that not make sense? Vitamin C is incredibly safe. I take a minimum of three grams a day. That's 3000 milligrams. I have a milligram scale. I use a Gemini 20 from American Way Systems and I weigh my dose out. Typically speaking, pure ascorbic acid powder, if the crystals are relatively fine, a fourth of a teaspoon is going to come out to about 900 milligrams to about 1,000 milligrams, sometimes a little more. So I take, roughly at a minimum, I take a, a slight 
teaspoon every day, just under the teaspoon level. But more often than not, I'm taking about 10 grams of ascorbic acid a day, a day, which violates the logic of the recommended daily allowances, the RDAs for vitamin C intake by like, what is it like by 10,000%? Like they, they're trying to tell you that you need about 100 milligrams to 500 milligrams of vitamin C a day. In fact, one of the most well-respected doctor recommended multivitamins, I'm not going to name any names, but it starts with a C and then it has silver at the end of it. Last time I checked that particular multivitamin, the one just for 50 year olds over the adult multivitamin, I think it had like 65 milligrams of vitamin C in it. That's criminal. That's absolutely criminal. The body needs a lot more than that. Your body needs a lot more than just enough to keep you from getting scurvy. <laughs> Your body needs, for instance, a lot more iodine than what they're telling you you need. I think last time, I think a prenatal vitamin has like 250 micrograms or less of iodine in it. How are you going to get, how are you going to give birth to a baby without mental cognitive or without cognitive impairment with that little iodine? Iodine it is, a, it is, is, it is an essential mineral. Uh, and that's just, these are just two nutrients of 90 essential nutrients that we're not getting enough of. And they've strategically, they have strategically lowered the RDAs to such a low extent that you think you need that amount when in fact, that's just enough to bas basically keep you alive and functioning here in hell. You need a lot more of these nutrients regardless of what you've been told by your doctor or the experts who appear to not even know what they're talking about. This is insane what's going on right now, folks. The experts, it's time for the experts to trust us, not the other way around. I've told you once and I'll tell you again, I, again I've seen doctors cold dead kill loved ones with certain drugs, with certain therapies. And these therapies have very, very, very low success rates. Yet you're going to go and do those therapies. You, you let the fear of being told you had cancer or this, that, and the other rush you in to a therapy that has a fucking one of the, the lowest. It starts with a C. C therapy, key, mo, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, you guys, Jesus Christ. I pray for the souls of all those people who, who have just blindly trusted the beast. Who have just blindly trusted the mainstream narrative, the status quo that's upheld by just all this, the stupid celebrities that uphold the status quo and the political weaponized polit polit or the political weaponized cartoons and all the SJW nonsense and just the world's going to shit. I pray for all the souls who have been sucked into that wormhole and are stuck there because it's not a good place to be. It's Russian roulette, not just on a physical level, but on a soul level, folks, because if you give yourself over to this evil, you don't just give your body over to this evil, not just this lifetime. What you do with your lifetime now says a lot to, it says a lot about who you are and your spiritual path. And I sure as hell would not want to be one of the souls that have been sucked into this fear machine. Where you've literally sided with evil and are in a totally fallen state. While thinking that you've got it all figured out. You think that you've got it all figured out. That to me... Siding with evil, folks, on such a monumental level... Again, siding with evil on such a monumental level, in my opinion, is worse than death. Because with death, folks, you can die with dignity. You can die with honor. You can die with integrity. You can die with bravery. You can die with courage. But you can also die, folks. You can also die with folly, with ignorance, 
You can die being anchored down by evil, stupidity, narcissism. And let me tell you, an honorable death is a an honorable death is a privilege. A dishonorable death is not. And to be honest, many of the people here in this matrix right now, the experts, the people who are making all the money, the celebrities plastered everywhere, giving you all this bullshit information about all this stuff going on in the world, politics, medicine, you name it. Most of these people are already dead anyway. Most of these people are already dead anyway. And that's a sad, unfortunate truth because an individual who buys into a lie, such monumental lies, plural, lies with an S on the end. People who buy into all this stuff forfeit their honor. They forfeit their integrity. They forfeit all of that in exchange for, again, they, they forfeit their integrity in exchange for a lie. When you build your life on a foundation of bullshit, you become bullshit. When you become bullshit, you use less than 3% of your potential. You consume bullshit, or you, I mean, it's the truth, guys. Most people are already half dead anyway, if not damn near dead. And I'm talking about your soul is dead. Your consciousness, your mind is dull. You've exchanged truth for the poisoned gift of lies. And that's why most of you celebrities and all of you garbage people, all you people towing the line for big pharma and all you politicians who are just soulless, you name it. How would I say this? Bear with me, folks. You're all miserable. It's obvious. It's easily discernible. Body language, studying, studying, studying the like, just the lines on your face and everything. You're just miserable. We see through you. We see right through you. People worship false idols, folks. Now, I don't mean to get all. I don't mean to get all biblical on you. I just don't. I don't mean to, excuse me, I was responding to a message. I don't, I don't mean to get biblical on you in the sense of me saying people follow, follow worship or worship false idols, because that is a highly biblical quote, but it's true. The worship of false idol idols will lead people astray. And the false idols of this world are largely Hollywood entertainers, uh, inter, you know, Hollywood entertainers, celebrities, musicians. You know, idiots like the band U2, and I'm not going to name any more names because I, I'd like to keep this video online. But these people, these entertainers, these Hollywood scum, what ends up happening, folks, is they, they become talking heads for leading people astray. And you might say, oh, but they, they don't know that they're leading people astray. That doesn't matter. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, and I'm pretty sure they do. A lot of the people who buy into a lot of the political nonsense, a lot of the people who buy into the, the experts and their medical opinions and all this stuff, they know deep down that it's all bullshit, yet they like the thrill of siding with who they think is the authority. They get a thrill from it. Come on, guys. Most of you guys know the, the, the truth deep down inside. You just don't access it. And it's a willing choice. Sure, it's compounded, the fact that you can't discern. I'm not even going to say that. Excuse me. I was going to talk about how nutrition drives stupidity and how stupidity leads to you not being able to understand things. And there's a lot of truth to that, as we mentioned in the beginning. But most of you guys, if you did enough digging, you could be able to, you would be able to discern right and wrong without, you know, just even if you are nu nutritionally deficient. The problem is, is most people just don't care enough, guys. Most people just do not care enough. Apathy is the fuel of the sheep. Apathy. Having the ability to understand, but just not caring enough to actually, you know, apply that understanding. 
Now, on top of that, the general consensus of the world, the, the matrix, if you will, upholds a status quo. A general, you know, a, it upholds a... Well, blah. The system upholds a status quo that they push on you, and it starts at a young age when they begin to inculcate you with this indoctrination. Through propaganda, as you grow up and, you know, dealing with people in your world, you learn to mold yourself to the status quo just like everybody else there's a gang stalking peer pressure gaslighting effect that people have on one another as they grow up in this world and everybody conforms to a similar energetic configuration to be part of the mass borg hive mind because it's easier to be one of everybody else than be like lucifer and walk away from the nonsense to reject the world to be like Christ. And Christ and Lucifer, if you look up the symbolism of them and go back in history, folks, they're the same thing. It's the risen Kundalini energy. Lucifer is the fallen Kundalini. Christ is the risen Kundalini. There's much more that could be said about that. So I'm not going to just... We'll talk, we've talked about that in the past and I'm sure we'll talk about it in the future. We have the ability to, to change, guys. We're just going to end what I was talking about and dovetail something new into it as we begin to wrap this important message up. We have the ability to change, and we have the ability to outgrow from this status quo that we were just talking about. <clears throat> to reject the status quo... To lead a unique life where you're separated from the world, yet you're in it. It requires a level of detachment that many people are not willing to, to delve into. Because detachment from the status quo means isolation. And it will probably drive you insane to become privy to the truth. And th this is one of the reasons why everybody's you know connected to the same software, so to speak, metaphorically speaking. It's easier to conform than it is to separate yourself from the conformity. Again, it's easier to conform to the status quo than it is to separate yourself from the conformity. There's a mold laid out for you. And as you develop in the matrix, you fit that mold until, alas... At one point in time, usually by the time the individual enters college or leaves high school, the stuff that's been put in the, into the mold is f fully dry. It's firm. And the mold can come off. The status quo, the general consensus on how to live life and what to, who to trust and this, that, and the other is that mold, the school system, you name it. And it conforms you into a new creature. You came out innocent and you ended up stupid. You came out innocent and you ended up stupid because of that mold. Once the, once the material or the concrete in the mold dries, again, by the time the average between 18 and 22 is when you've, you're fully complete. The drying process is done. The mold can now come off because the constraints of the mold no longer have to hold the undry material within the confines of it the system when the mold comes off the system has fully hardened your programming you are now a useful idiot that behaves like a computer and what do computers do computers ice are not isolate commands excuse me folks we've had a few verbal mix-ups here computers execute commands Computers execute commands. People are just dumb enough to execute commands, yet while at the same time simultaneously thinking that they've got it all figured out. You are like a computer being programmed by culture, and when the enter button gets hit with a new command, you execute it. And there's a vast array of computers around you that are all similar. All these biological com computers, human beings, programmed useful idiots. And you create a network of idiocy. 
where you all feed off one another and you agree with the same things and you hate the same groups and it's just this disgusting software mess, metaphorically speaking. And I'm here to be the virus that tries to come in to dispute or break apart all this stupidity in the collective consciousness. Like a hacker breaking into the system and disrupting the proper flow of the system. The proper flow of the networking between one another. Broadcasting a pirate signal and hacking into the Matrix, just like Morpheus tells Neo when he first gets on to the Nebuchadnezzar and gets a nice tour of the inside of the ship. This is where we broadcast our pirate signal and hack into the Matrix. That's such a beautiful quote. So trust what you want, guys. Believe what you want to believe. But I'm here to tell you that there's always more than meets the eye. There's always more behind what appears to be obvious. There's always more intricate, unseen, and complicated moving parts behind what, again, appears to be obvious. There always is. And that's just the way of the... All right, hold on. Some shady looking people coming over here. You hear that? This guy's doing donuts over here. All right. Whatever. Um, where was I going? See how hacking works? That guy just jammed the proper... That's a perfect... Uh, I'm thankful that that guy just did this. I'm thankful that he just did this because... It's kind of a symbol of how a, a new flow of energy can disrupt the old. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I think I was talking about how computers hack things or can be hacked and things can change, the networking between one another, you name it. I think, but I don't remember completely because this guy was doing donuts right next to my car acting like an idiot. So, again, with flow if you will, with new things come new things. It's that simple. With the new comes the new. I hope that makes sense. And it doesn't really, it makes sense in my mind, but it doesn't come out the way I want it to. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. It's just another day in hell. Let's turn this place into heaven though. I love you and may peace be with you all.